Hey Wendy, I bet you can't hold an egg between your fingers like this. What? Who can't do that? But the catch is, you gotta do it in between the fridge doors. I don't know if you know, but fridges emit some electromagnetic fields that make you really weak. What? That sounds ridiculous. Alright, try it then. Alright. So first step, you gotta get behind the fridge door. You mean like this? Yeah. Now stick your fingers through the door. Okay, have fun. I'm going now. Bye. What? What are you doing? What do I do? I can't let go without dropping it. It's Wendy. Come reach. Wendy. Great, now I'm stuck here. 2,000 years later. Hey guys, what's up? It's Wenji and Lollipop Hugs. Whoops, weird hugs. All right guys, today I'm gonna show you 10 DIY pranks that you can do on your best friends and family or watch for entertainment value purposes. All right guys, right now I'm giving away a MacBook Air. If you wanna enter, all you need to do is be subscribed to this channel and be part of the Wenji Corn fam. Also, I have a new song, Talk Talk, so don't forget to check it out. I've linked it down below. It's on my Wenji Music channel. Just search Wenji Music to find it. Alright guys, without further ado, let's go! Hey Wendy, what do you think of the show? It's my favorite. Mm, it's okay. You know what I think is better? Mm. Hey, what do you think you're doing? That's my strawberry! Hee hee! Come right now! Give it back! Too late, to my belly! <sighs> First, grab some super hot chilies and place them onto the chopping board. Carefully chop the ends of the chili like this and place them to the side. Once that's done, you'll need your strawberries and a pen with a lid on it. Take the pen lid and carve out a hole in the tip of the strawberry like this. Then remove the middle part of the strawberry out so you can place your chili from earlier inside. Next, grab some blocks of chocolate and place them into a bowl. Put the chocolates in the microwave and melt according to the instructions. When you take it out, it should be soft like this, melting into a liquid texture. Layer a coat of chocolate onto the tip of the strawberry like this, making sure the chili is all covered up. Once it's dried, it is time to go back to watching your favorite show. Mmm, ah. ah. that looks really tasty. Yeah, because I made it. Yoink. You never learn, do ya? <laughs> Got you good! This is you for taking my strawberries again. <laughs> Washing dishes is quite boring sometimes. <sighs> Why do I always have to wash dishes? So boring. So why not spice things up by putting some fake bugs beneath all the soap and dishes and lure your victim in. Wendy! What is it, Wendy? My hands are really sore today. Can you help me wash the dishes for once? Mm, okay, sure, I'll do them. Yay! What is it? 5 times 2 plus 3. 2 times 5 is 10. Mm -hmm. And what's 10 plus 3? 13? Yep, that's right. Bruh. I messed up. Wendy, can I borrow an eraser? Oh, yeah, sure. For this prank, you'll need a pencil with a rubber tip. Get some crayons and place them into a microwavable cup 
and microwave it for 90 seconds until it melts. Make sure you pause every 30 seconds just to be safe and wear gloves when taking the cup out as it gets very hot. Be careful. Once that's ready, take your pencil and dip the eraser into the crayons and put it aside to let it dry. Once it's dried, it's time to get pranky. Here you go. Oh, thanks. Wait, this is not an eraser. It's making my paper worse. Wendy! <laughs> well, you should have bought your own eraser then. <sighs> now I have to do my homework all over again. It's a mess. Sucks to be you. <laughs> Toilet paper is the most important thing in every bathroom, which is why it is the perfect opportunity for a prank. For this, you'll need a permanent marker and drawing skills. Start drawing out some creepy crawlies like this, making it look as realistic as you can. And then wait for your victim to fall for the trap. best friend leaves their phone lying around, you can prepare a sneaky little prank. Start by getting a see-through container big enough to fit their phone into. Now to prepare the phone, place the phone into a sealed bag to make sure the phone doesn't get damaged, because we don't want to ruin their phone. Now put the phone into the container. Fill the container with water. Now here's the tricky part. Place a sheet on the open end of the container and flip it upside down onto the table like this. Now remove the sheet quickly to make sure too much water doesn't spill out and wait for your best friend to look for their phone. And you can also leave a friendly note for your friend when they find it. my phone. Wait, <gasps> is that a phone? Ah, Wendy! Who's calling? Oh my god, my crush! I have to take this call. Here it goes. Coffee. It only tastes good in a mug. Where's your unicorn mug? I lost it. Oh. Wait here. Get some plain white paper and a marker. Place the mug on top of the paper and trace a circle around the mug. Now it's time to get creative and draw some ugly and funny mouth shapes inside the circles. Once you're happy with it, get a pair of scissors and carefully cut out the circles. Next, get some double-sided tape and stick the mouth under the mug. This will be a great way to embarrass your best friend without them even knowing. You can even take some sneaky pictures when they aren't looking. Here you go, I've got a spare mug for you. You're so sweet. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, nothing. I just giggle a lot when the coffee tastes good. Okay, weirdo. While your best friend is sleeping carelessly, dreaming of unicorns, don't miss your opportunity to prank them. Simply place double-sided tape between the floor and the slippers like this. Make sure they're stuck together tightly and now wait for your best friend to wake up. This will be a great way to kickstart them wanting. Ow! Too early for this. So good. Mmm, I know, right? Actually, can you pass me the ketchup? Mmm, sure. Next time you share food with your best friend, make sure to get a container of ketchup and empty all of it out. Then get some clear slime and mix red and brown coloring in. The trick is to try to get it as close to the color of ketchup as possible. 
Once the slime is ready, place it into the container and let it settle. Now time to pass it over to your best friend. Or maybe ex-best friend after this. Oh, thanks! Ugh. Wait, this isn't ketchup? It's so tough! Gross, what is this? Wedgie! Yeah, it's pretty gross. Is this slime? Anyways. Hi, where are you going? Uh, ruined my friends. Well, thanks, guys. Get a bunch of boxes, starting from tiny ones to big fat boxes. Then place your very special gift inside the smallest box. Wendy absolutely hates cockroaches, so what better gift for her than this? Now close the box and place into the slightly bigger box and repeat until you have placed it all onto just one fat box. Now let's give this to Wendy and celebrate her birthday. Hey Wendy, I know it's your special day today, so I made a present especially for you. Here you go. Thanks, Wendy. I can't believe you got me a gift this time. You never give me any gifts. Yeah, I know. It was kind of bugging me that I never get you a gift, so I thought I'd get you a special one this time. Anyways, enjoy. Okay. Hey. Mm, I wonder what this is. Huh? What? Another box. Okay. Kind of jerk. <gasps> Maybe it's jewelry. Oh, this is this is definitely a jewelry box. Look at this. So pretty. Okay, I want a choker. <laughs> Alright, guys. Hope you guys enjoy these pranks. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.